Welcome to Banter Bros and another question of the week. This week's question of the week is about quickly identifying the condition of carbon ceramic brakes, probably on a car you're just about to purchase and you want to make sure that the carbon ceramic brakes are perfectly within service and you're not going to have to renew discs and pads shortly into your ownership. This is really, really important because the carbon ceramic discs are hideously expensive. We're talking £7,100 roughly for front discs and pads plus VAT and we're talking £6,100 roughly for rear discs and pads obviously plus VAT then plus fitting plus wear leads plus any additional fixings that might be required so it starts to mount up. Anyone used to watching this channel regularly We'll know that I advise if the car is being bought from a franchise dealer or recognised specialist, instead of doing a pre-purchase inspection, then ask pertinent questions to which you get written communication, uh, the answers to those questions. And one of those is what is the condition of the carbon ceramic brakes? Now, there's still some dealers out there whose response back to that is that the discs are for life. Clearly, they're not. It's a wear surface, it's a braking surface, generates friction, generates heat, is obviously going to wear. There are extremes, but in normal road usage, you're going to get about 15k out of a set of pads, and you're going to get three pad sets to a disc, and then the assembly needs renewing. So today you join us in this Virage, which again, anyone regular to this channel is going to know that I really like Virage. So despite the car looking nice and shiny on the surface, if we delve deeper and have a look at the brakes, and unfortunately the condition of those isn't as nice as the rest of the car. Here's a picture of the outside of the discs, and as we can see, they're extremely rough to touch. The graining is very dense, and they've lost a lot of the carbon black color out of them starting to go a bit anemic. These discs are at end of life and they're going to need replacing. But if we have a closer look at the mounting bell, which is mounting the disc, we can see that this anodized surface is also discolored. Now the mileage on this car is low and it shouldn't have worn its discs out already. And that discoloration on the mounting bell is indicative that some sort of wheel cleaner has been used and it's that wheel cleaner that is eaten away at the carbon ceramic brake. So here's some pictures of the outside of the disc and here's some pictures of the inside of the disc. Now the inside of the disc looks and feels relatively normal whereas it's the outside of the disc which is at end of life. So this is consistent with it being some form of wheel cleaner that has destroyed these brakes. Here's pictures of discs pretty much at start of life you know, these are super smooth to touch, almost like a mirror surface when you run your finger across them. You can't feel the graining and the graining isn't that dense. And here's pictures of some discs in midlife, you know, a little bit more graining. The surface of the disc though is still nice and smooth to touch. Now let's go back and look at the picture of the end of life discs on this Verage. And you can tell that the graining is much more dense. Uh, obviously you can't feel it, but you know, this surface does look very rough if you were to touch it. So using those three pictures as a sort of wear guide, then straight away, as soon as you look through the wheel rim at the condition of the discs, you can gauge pretty quickly where they are in terms of their wear. We'll go for a drive in this Virage because you can tell dynamically on the move that these discs are unhappy. You know, at about five mile an hour in the car park, if you were to just dab the brake pedal, then on a real fresh, good set of carbon ceramic brakes, just with a light dab on the pedal, you're going to be inching forward onto the seat belt and you'll trigger the inertia on the seat belt, even at five mile an hour. At speed, 60, 70 mile an hour, and you put say half braking force on, then you should just hear a sort of air gush type sound, and not a gravelly type sound, but worn out rough disc surface will generate and at higher speeds than that a car with as worn discs as these 
it's going to give you some steering wheel wobble. Uh, the pedal is going to feel harsh, it's going to pulsate, you're going to feel that on the brake pedal. And brake performance is going to be severely reduced. Now on this car, when you just do a tip in on the brake pedal at five mile an hour, it certainly doesn't jolt you on the seatbelt. And at higher speeds, you can feel that the assembly is tired. So for someone like me that gets in many cars, it's uh, immediately apparent uh, just from feel and performance that these brakes are compromised. But then driving, if you are at 60, 70 mile an hour and you try and invoke an ABS stop, then the performance, uh, the brake performance of this assembly is so poor that you can't even get it anywhere close to triggering an, an ABS event. So here we are at five mile an hour, just set it right, pedal press. I can barely see me moving forward. Uh, but with that same pedal press on a really efficient set of carbon ceramics, I'd be doing something like that straight away. And I had to press the pedal quite firmly to get that. So I've got about 50 miles an hour now. Again, a light pedal input. And let's listen to what those brakes sound like. Not sure how well the camera picks that out, but there's a distinctive gravelly type friction material sound rather than there being a nice smooth air gush type sound that you get from normal carbon ceramic brakes. So we're up at speed now. We're going to do quite a forceful brake application. I, I should have been pushed severely against the seat belt and our speed retardation should have been popping eyes out of sockets because uh, that's how good carbon ceramic brakes are when they're within service. At that higher speed, the carbon ceramic brake sh should be inaudible really, but you shouldn't really be able to hear the air gush type sound at that higher speed. The sound that you might be able to hear in the camera now is the gravelly type sound of wear from the very rough disc surface eating away at the pad. So we'll build up speed now and we'll try and invoke ABS with pretty much the hardest pedal press that I can do. Oh, we did break down there quite nicely. You know, probably that brake performance still outdoes some steals. But that level of force on the brake pedal should have really been giving the ABS system a workout. But because the level of braking performance is so poor from this worn out set of carbon ceramic brakes, it's not capable of even invoking ABS. Hope you liked that question of the week and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.